did somebody say bluegill? Oh, yeah, I did. Bluegill, swim bait, two piece. I'm in my car now because I just got fly tying stuff from Orvis. Now, everything around here is online, and Orvis is expensive, but whole crap do they have a lot of good stuff. I don't mind spending the money for it. I spent a lot of money on fishing stuff today, guys. I'm not going to lie. A lot. But, you know, treat yourself. So, when I get back to you, we're going to be doing bluegill swim bait. Spring is coming. We're going to hit hard. Hard. All right. So, yeah. <clears throat> I'm not very used to this whole finicky part, but we will get it. I've seen people do it like super quick. I'm not there yet. Second verse, same as the first with this bottom fin. And I'm going to do the pectoral fins on the bottom separate out of just like a scrap piece or something. I got like probably this piece or something and uh, double them up and do those separate and tack them in. So, yeah, that's the plan of that. And I'll get these chipped out. Okay, so that was the dorsal and the anal fin. So now I'm going to just do the rest of the back end of the profile, shave it down, and we're going to be ready for chamfer lines and carving. so far that I'm going to carve into this for this bluegill. I want it to have really good detail. I mean, even though it's a small swim bait and I could do a lot with painting, I'd rather, I, I want to carve it. So, yeah. And then I'll try to do my best to mimic it on the other side. We'll get it.
right? So I know I was preaching pretty hard that I'm going to make this a two-piece, but I changed my mind. I'm going three-piece. I think two would just be silly. We are on to something. Seal it. I like doing stuff without you. I made my little joiny thingies that I'm going to put in there like that. So I can seal this and hang it. I need clippies. Why don't I have clips? Here's some. Come on. Yeah. Smell urethane in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Let's see, check it out. Glossy, glossy. Mm. No! Wait. I can breathe underwater. But it's not water. No! Oh, it looks so cool. It's shiny. Last but certainly not least. Basswood is always kind of tricky. It loves to float, which is great for the bait making part, but it just loves float. Soup glue. I do it differently. Sometimes I'll put the baking soda on first and top it, or then I'll put the super glue in and put the baking soda on top, or maybe both sometimes. Whatever suits your fancy. Oh, there, I put a, a two gram lead shot in there. I use I use split shots because I don't have a lead pot. I'm not super fancy like that. <clears throat> um, yeah. This one is going to get a hook tie in with it. So, where's my hook tie? I need to poke a hole for my hook tie. It is actually really warm today. I'm getting sick, guys. Oh no. COVID. I went ahead and added these two little pins hanging down. They gotta be sanded up. And then I'm gonna add two more that run out of the sides. I'm gonna car real quick and stick in there. I'll seal them with super glue before paint. I forgot to start recording when I started painting this other side, uh, but I will go ahead and do the other side, which might turn out better. I don't know. We'll see.
one thing about doing detail work is that I drink a lot of coffee, so I'm always shaky. <laughs> Coffee's so good. Okay, so I just pulled it off the rotisserie and pow. Oh, I'm so happy with this thing. I think it looks beautiful. Let me know what you think. I'm really glad I did the the fins sticking out like that. And it's got plenty of plenty of wiggle room. It's all hinged in. I was gonna show it on the rotisserie, but I didn't want to spoil the surprise. So there it is. The three piece bluegill swim bait. I'll do a video where I fish with all these all these guys. But um yeah, I mean compared to compared to my first one, I mean this is really a step up, I think. It's probably my favorite now. Let me know what you guys think. And on that note. I'm going to get into a cicada. I think I'm going to do a cicada. Or the cicada killer wasp. Which I never did a video for. But it's this guy. These just came off the hanger because I made a bunch of them. I sent out. I gave a bunch to some friends. And a couple, couple people. But, yep, back to the insects, like I said. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed it.